Hi, boys and girls. Here we are back at our farm today. I'm so glad you could be with me and with Buck for Nani and Buck's World of Adventure. And remember from the last time we met, our adventure starts on the farm. Oh my goodness, we've been having such a wonderful time already. Simon and Sarah have just been imagining having all kinds of adventures and they've been having real adventures too. It's been a lot of fun. I hope since the last time we met, you've been having some of your own adventures. Have you been imagining some things that you could do or some places you could go? I hope so. Well, there's somebody really special that's on the farm today who I want you to meet. This is the man who actually owns the farm and runs it. Oh, hi, here he is now. His name is Mr. Butterbean Bailey. Hi, Mr. Bailey, how are you? I'm doing just swell, Nani, how are you? Oh, I'm doing just great. Oh, I just was telling the boys and girls out in internet land what a blessing it is to get to be here with you on your farm. Boys and girls, Mr. Bailey has been teaching Simon and Sarah how to do all kinds of things. I mean, they've been, he's been teaching them how to plant some seeds and how to take care of the animals. Oh, they have been such a help to me. Oh, I'm so glad that they have. Uh, you've been such a help to them. It's just been great all the way around. That is amazing to hear. Well, I tell you, with the coronavirus and stuff going on, it was just a blessing that you were willing to let us come here to your farm. Oh, it's my pleasure. Oh, well, I hope they're a help to you. I really do. I hope they're going to be good to you because oh, you deserve sure it. they sure have been so far. Oh, I'm so glad, Mr. Bailey. See, boys and girls, it's wonderful to be kind to people. Mr. Bailey's been so kind to us. I sure hope that Simon and Sarah and Buck and, and Barkley will be kind to him, too. He's really been a blessing. Well, I know, Mr. Bailey, you've got lots of chores to do, so I won't keep you, but thank you for coming out here thank and meeting the boys much. and girls. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am, I have several chores I still have to do today. Oh, thanks, Mr. Bailey. We'll see you later then. All right. Y'all uh, have a good day. Uh, can you tell him bye? Bye, Mr. Bailey. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm so glad, boys and girls, that you get to be here and you got to meet Mr. Bailey. And I tell you what, there is a lot of work to do on this farm. As a matter of fact, I need to find Simon and Sarah and just kind of see what they're up to. They were working hard this morning and then I gave them some free time to play and use their imaginations and to just have some fun. But um, I also have something I want to show you. So if you can hold on for just a minute, I'm going to run over here and I'm going to get something. I'll be right back. You guys are so good at waiting on me. And maybe if you see Simon and Sarah, can you just stop them and tell them I'm looking for them? I sure would appreciate that. But at any rate, I'm going to go find them and I'll be right back. Why don't you... Spend a minute or two imagining what I might be bringing. Can you do that? Why don't you imagine it and then um, we'll see. Get you got your thinking caps on? You got your ears turned on? You got your eyes wide open? Because you don't want to miss a thing, okay? All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Nani's gone, and I'm here now. I am Simon the Ugly Boy, the master of evil. I am going to spread a rumor about Mr. Butterbean Bailey, so everyone on the farm will not like him anymore. Then I will be the fairest in the land. <laughs> and I'm going to tell Sarah that he picks his nose. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mr. Bailey. Well, hello, Sarah. This has been a wonderful day. Oh, it has? What's so special about it? Well, all the eggs I had in the incubator hatched, and now I have 15 beautiful baby chicks. Oh, how wonderful. That 
is the neatest thing ever. I hope I can get to see them hatch too. You know, Mr. Bailey, I hope I'm as good at my work one day as you are at yours. Well, that's very kind of you to say, Sarah. I know you're good at your Bible class and English class. I've seen your work. Oh, thank you so much. I want to be good at it. Well, you are. Oh, thank you. You're such an encouragement, Mr. Bailey. It sure has been a joy to get to be here. Well, I've got to get going, Sarah. Still have a lot of work to do on the farm. I'll see you later. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Bailey. Goodbye, Sarah. Thanks again for everything. Yes, ma'am. Da 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 Hello, Sarah. Simon, what are you supposed to be? I'm Simon the Ugly Boy. Who are you? I'm the master of evil. So, so I know something about Mr. Butterbean Bailey that you don't know. No, you don't, Simon. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Fine, then tell me. What? Mr. Butterbean Bailey picks boogers from his nose? Simon, that's terrible. I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Does he really? How in the world could he do that? Now, where did Simon go? Where, where did Simon go? Who you looking for, Sarah? I was looking for Simon. He told me something, but I don't believe it. What? What did he tell you? Well, I don't know what to think about it. He, he told me, well, he told me, uh, I'll tell you. Did you get no, that? No! No! I don't believe it! Not Mr. Butterbean Bailey! What in the world coming to? Well, don't tell anyone. That would just be bad, okay? So don't tell anybody I told you, okay? I, 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 I gotta go now. Bye. I think, I think the chickens and pigs need to know about this. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I, I think we need to tell the chickens and pigs. Uh, let, let's go. Uh, okay, we, we're going to tell them now. Man, I can't believe Mr. Bailey would do that. I, I just, I, I can't believe it. Me either. I never heard of such. I'm gonna, let's go, man. Let's go. Here, chicken. Come here, chicken. Where those, quit running around. Come here, chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Come here. Little chicken. Hey, I, I gotta tell you what I just heard, chicken. Mr. 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 Butterbean Bailey picks bugs from between his toes. Yeah, bugs from between his toes. Bugs, bugs, yum, yum. Let's go see. Yum, yum. Hey, 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 Piggly Wiggly, hey, Piggly Wiggly, gather around here. You, you're not going to believe what I just heard. Uh, Mr. Butterbean Bailey, uh, hey, uh, Mr. Butterbean Bailey eats grubs left by crows. Yep, he does. Grubs from crows? Yeah. That has to be leftover corn cobs. Yummy. Let's go see. Whew, I made it back, boys and girls. Oh, boy, I, I didn't think I was gone that long, but it just seemed like a whole lot was taking place while I was gone. I feel like something's up on the farm. 
The chickens and the pigs were making all kinds of racket. Did you hear that? And Sarah just whispered to me that Mr. Butterbean Bailey sticks sugar up his nose. What? What on earth do you all believe that? No, Nani! No, Nani! Hey, he, he picks bugs from between his toes! What? What, Barkley? That's not what I heard. Uh, we heard he eats grubs left by crows. Oh, I have a hard time believing that. I have a hard time with that. Wait, 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 wait! I heard that! I heard it! What? Um, wait, wait, wait! Did you, did you say that, that he sticks bugs up his nose? No! No! Uh, no, Sarah! No! Uh, you know, Mr. You know what Mr. Butterbean Bailey does? Yeah, you know what he does. Now, exactly what did you all hear? I am so confused. Nani, uh, Sarah told us she heard that Mr. Butterbean Bailey picks bugs from between his toes. No! No, 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 no. Sarah told us that Mr. Butterbean Bailey eats grubs left by crows. No! That's not what Sarah said. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Not what Sarah said. I heard her. <laughs> yes, it is, Barkley. Sarah, I could have sworn that you told me that Mr. Butterbean Bailey sticks sugar up his nose. Sarah, who's right? Yeah, who's right, Sarah? Hey, what is all this commotion about? The oh, chickens are oh. going crazy. They've been fighting and pecking at my shoes, and the pigs are attacking my slop bucket, making the awfulest racket I ever heard. Oh, now you guys are squabbling, and I'm not sure what to think. Oh, dear. such an idea. Of course not. Well, I knew that's not what Sarah said. I, I, I knew it all along. Uh, uh, you eat grub left by crows, right? What? Sarah said I eat grub left by crows? Buckaroo, are you crazy? No, I don't eat grub left by crows. Sarah, where would you get such a notion? from my nose. Well, I guess I, I believed him. Uh, Sarah, I'm sorry you believe such a rumor. Where is Simon? I'll find him. Simon? Simon, where are you, Simon? Come out here, Simon, please. Here I am. What's going on? Oh! What's the matter with you? What's going on? What's the matter with you guys? Why isn't, why is nobody talking to me? Hey, what's going on here? Because, Simon, I'll tell you what's going on here. You started a terrible rumor. That's what you did. You started a rumor about people, about Mr. Butterbean Bailey. Something that wasn't even true, Simon. It got out of hand. And there's been a lot of gossip going on. You know, and we shouldn't gossip, Simon. That's bad. We shouldn't tell rumors about people. That's bad, ever. And especially mean things. Oh, Simon, I'm, I'm just so disappointed with you. We should say nice words. You know God doesn't want us to say mean things about people or start rumors that aren't true. What on earth were you thinking? I, I was just having some fun. I 
I didn't mean it. I was just pretending. I, I, I didn't know Sarah would tell. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't. I was Simon the Ugly Boy, Master of Evil. <sighs> Simon, I knew, I knew it couldn't be true, but I said it anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Butterbean Bailey. I'm so sorry. I think some other people owe you an apology too, Mr. Bailey. I think so. I'm sorry. Barkley? Me? Me too, Mr. Butterbean Bailey. I knew it couldn't be true, but I still said it anyway. I'm sorry. Picking bugs from between my toes? That really kind of is funny. Well, me three. I, I'm really sorry. Uh, I was that was wrong of me too. That you actually believe that I eat grub left by crows? <sighs> <laughs> but it's okay. I forgive you guys. I guess we all learned a lesson about gossip and rumors today, huh? No, oh, I think so. What do you think, guys? Yes, gossiping is it is so wrong. It is. I will never. Me either. I promise. I guess Buck and I, uh, we need to do some damage control. Uh, uh, let's go find the chickens and the pigs, Buck. Yeah, we gotta go talk to them uh, before they spread all this everywhere. Uh, uh, we better go find them. We gotta go, Nani. We gotta go, uh, everybody. We, we gotta go talk to the chickens and the pigs. I hope so. Thank you, Buck and Barkley. I think we all need to do a little bit of damage control here. And uh, my goodness, Simon, oh, you and I need to, um, we need to help Mr. Bailey too. You know what I mean? We need to help him fix this. Mr. Bailey, you have been so kind to all of us. And I just can't believe that we did this to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've been so good to us. I, I was only, I didn't, I didn't mean it the way it turned out. Gossiping is so bad. Thank you, Mr. Bailey, for forgiving us. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Butterbean Bailey, I just have one more question for you. Do you really pick boogers from your nose? <laughs> no! <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he is a good sport, isn't he? But not everybody's always like that, are they? I hope you boys and girls learned your lesson. Have you? Yes, I am. You know, boys and girls, let me tell you something. When I tell you that you should use your imagination, I want you to, but I don't want you imagining that you're somebody evil. Simon, God wouldn't want you to pretend to be evil and have fun being evil. No, Simon, you should never have been the ugly boy, master of all evil. When I tell you to use your imagination, Use it for good. And can I just say too, that you should never be mischievous when you're imagining things. You never want to do mischievous things that could hurt somebody else. Look, if it's not fun for that other person, then it should not be fun for you, okay? Doing something wrong to somebody else just because it makes you laugh, but it's not making them laugh, then that's not a very nice thing to do, is it? And that certainly wasn't nice to do to Mr. Bailey. So boys and girls, I hope we all learned something today on the farm that gossiping is wrong. Think so? Yes, I think so too. And Simon, I think um, you and Sarah owe the boys and girls an apology. Can you tell them you're sorry? You're supposed to be setting good examples here. I'm sorry. Me too. Okay, I think you guys need to help fix this and do some damage control. And besides that, I think we have some very messy chicken coops and pigsties back there that need to be cleaned up now, don't you think so? Yes, I am. All right, then let's yeah, get to Yeah, Nani. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we we got to go clean up the mess we made 
with our mouths and the mess that's long been made around this farm and it, 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 it spe especially Barkley. Oh, especially Barkley thinking people would, would, would be eating bugs between the toes. <laughs> how, how silly. <laughs> what? What? And, and you thinking, uh, 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 did they, 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 they crows? Oh, oh and, and, and eating, it, it, what are you telling me? I, I'm so frustrated with you, I don't know what to say. Oh, I just, I, I'm sorry. That's what we all say, yeah, I'm sorry. We, we all not act that way. Bye, Nani. Goodbye, Buck. Goodbye, Barkley. You guys are a riot. I'll see you later. And yes, do your cleanup, would you please? Unbelievable. Boys and girls, I hope everybody learned a lesson today. And if ever you end up doing something that's not right and it makes a mess, then do what they did. Go fix it. Clean it up. Say I'm sorry. That's a good thing to do because, and I'll show you our last verse for the day. Let me get it and I'll show it to you. I want you to see this right here, okay? Can you see, whoops, so much for that. There we go, can you see it? It says the golden rule. Do you know what the golden rule is? The golden rule is do unto others as what other, you would have others do unto you. And see how I wrote it? Do unto others what you would have others do unto you. Boys and girls, you know why that's called the golden rule? because that should help you in everything you do throughout life. Do to others what you want other people to do to you. If you don't want people telling bad things about you or calling you names or starting rumors, then don't do it to somebody else. Do for other people what you want other people to do for you. That's a great thing to learn. It's the golden rule. So maybe I'll ask you about it again later. We'll see if Simon and Sarah have learned the golden rule and Buck and Barkley too. Well, we're gonna say goodbye, okay? And I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope you don't get into any trouble like these guys did. And we'll see you next time on another farm adventure. I love you all. God bless.